What is up guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about the JFlex cross grips and why I think they are the best pull-up bar on Amazon. Just a quick disclaimer, I bought these pull-up bars with my own money and I'm gonna be trying and be as unbiased as possible for this review. I'm gonna keep this review pretty simple. I'm just gonna be doing a pros and cons list, show you kind of what features it has, and then at the end, give you my final thoughts. Starting with the pros, I think the first thing I noticed when I pulled these out of the box is just how well built these are. These things are solid and I really do appreciate that. When I do pull-ups with these, they feel so sturdy that it gives me confidence that I can explode up on pull-ups. Um, I can use them for just about anything and feel 100% uh, confident. <laughs> The next big thing with these JFlex cross grips is that they are really low profile. Um, you can take these basically anywhere and when you do hang them up on a door, they don't hang down really low. I've got seven foot doorways and as you can see in this video, um, they only hang maybe three or four inches below that seven feet and I'm 6'2 and I can walk uh, right underneath. If you travel a lot for work or you just are traveling a lot in general and you want to work out as you go, I would highly recommend these just because of the small form factor. Definitely hold up for just one second and watch to the end of the video because I do have a pretty big con if you are buying these for traveling. So when I was trying to decide on which pull-up bar that I wanted, I wanted one that didn't hang on the sides of my doorway and that's because I've had some of those in the past and those have always damaged or blackened my uh, trim. And since I live in an apartment and if I damage something, I've got to pay for it. So I wanted something that's not going to damage my apartment. I've had these on my frame for about a month now. On the sides right here that go up on your frame, they don't leave any black marks and they don't leave any damage. And I don't anticipate these damaging my doorway anytime soon. Something else that I was looking for in a pull-up bar was something that I could attach my gymnastics rings to. And that's because I do this other program uh, called Body by Rings by Daniel Vadnell. These are not a perfect solution, but they definitely do help. They let me do pulling exercises and also pushing exercises with my gymnastics rings. Some other things that JFlex says that you can do with these is use them as parallettes or uh, push-up stands, and they, they work fine. I would like more dedicated parallettes, but if I'm using these for travel, they are more than adequate. And something else that I really liked and which most pull-up bars have is a hammer grip and then also just a regular pull-up. And you can place it uh, wider, as wide as your doorway or as narrow as you want to do any type of pull-up. So a compromise that I had to make when I was purchasing these was when I use my rings, I can't use them any other way besides uh, vertically. I can't use any horizontal pulling motions um, or else these springs are gonna come off and then it's gonna come off of the door. But that's with most pull-up bars. Um, and the only way I was gonna get around that was if I actually drilled something into my walls. But that's no fault to JFlex um, and their pull-up bar. That is just something that I really wish for and I can't have because I live in an apartment. All right, I need to stop daydreaming and let's get back to our video and talk about cons. One of the biggest cons that I hinted to earlier was for traveling and the biggest thing with these is the weight. The total weight of two of these is four pounds, five ounces. That's not too much, but it is quite a bit. When you hold them, they are pretty heavy. I'm honestly okay to compromise. I would rather have more weight and have that more confidence when I'm actually working out than having to be really uh, gentle and timid when I'm using a really uh, flimsy pull-up bar. And I'm not using these too much for travel, but if you use, are using these for travel and you only have a carry-on, uh, that is a weight to consider. Four pounds is quite a bit when you can only carry 20 or 40 pounds on an airplane. Probably the biggest con that's gonna stop most of you from buying these JFlex pull-up bars is the price. These are pretty pricey. I bought them at about $120 US. If you are using these every day and you want that confidence that these give you when you're doing pull-ups, then these pull-up bars totally warrant that price. So it all is going to come down to how often are you going to use these pull-up bars. If you're using them four days a week to every day a week, I totally think these are a good buy. Another con in my opinion is going to be the grip size. Um, the grip is just a little too small for me, but I don't think it's a big deal because I can buy aftermarket things or I can just wrap tape, athletic tape around the grips 
to make them a little bit thicker and also to provide a little bit more grip because they are also, when you get sweaty, um, especially like in the summer, you start to slip. It is a good coating. I would like it a little bit grippier, but uh, you can mod these however you want. Just putting athletic tape around these is gonna make them that little bit thicker and then also that little bit more grippy as well. So athletic tape I think is pretty cheap um, and that would fix these and I think make them perfect. What is my opinion? My opinion is I regret not buying these sooner. Um, I waited probably a good three to four months of waiting to purchase these because of that asking price of about $120. I was like, ah, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. It's just a pull-up bar. But once I got them and I unboxed them and I used them for one day, I was amazed how well built they were, um, how much confidence they give me as a pull-up bar. Because all those other cheap Amazon pull-up bars, they just feel weak and they bend. But honestly, I regretted not buying it sooner. I've used it every day. I just leave it in my doorway. And whenever I pass, I do a couple pull-ups. So if you're thinking you want to buy these pull-up bars, you can go ahead. I've got some links down below in the description. It helps out our channel produce more content like this for you guys. And if you guys want to start training with rings, click this video right here where I share what ring set I think is best and also what workout program I use as a gymnast.